Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at this chain link fence and just with a little warning sign on there, it's just something different, not a technical drawing or a mechanical part, just a bit of playing around in Fusion. So follow along and see how you go. We will start this off by creating a sketch on the front plane. can really do this on any plane, but since I'm going up, I will do it on the front plane. I know that I want my blocks to be 50 millimeters high, so I'm just going to put in a construction line from the origin and go up 50 millimeters. So I know where my reference is. And I'll deselect construction line and draw my diagonal. What we'll do then is rectangular pattern and we're going up. I want them to be spaced out a hundred millimeters apart so I'll select spacing. Over here you can choose extent or spacing. I want mine to be on spacing and then I will set this to negative 100 and I want a few more than three. So let's see, I've got 10, that would give me roughly a one meter high fence. Um, don't really want to do too much more because we're going to be here all day. Uh, finished sketch. So that's the first little bit. Next, we're going to want to construct an offset plane. So I'm just going to do that from the front plane. Um, I'm going to make that 10 millimeters so I can see that plane is 10 millimeters in front of the first plane or the front plane that I drew on. I'm going to create a sketch on that plane and use the line tool. So you can see I can snap onto those points from the drawing that's behind it. I'm just going to draw this one line so it's going to be the exact same dimensions as that one just a mirror image. I will repeat the rectangular pattern on this one. This will be minus 100 and we will have a couple. Let's see how far up it goes. And that's good enough. Nine. Complete sketch. There we go. Now, obviously they're not joined together because they're on separate planes. So next step, uh, if you weren't aware, you can sketch in 3D, so across planes, so long as you've got an active point. So this you can select any plane to sketch on. And what we're gonna do is, over here on the right hand side, we can select a 3D sketch. Now with that selected, I'm not limited to sketching on the plane that I've selected. I can actually sketch in between planes so long as I've got point to point access. So I will draw my line and make sure it snaps to the right place. You might need to zoom in a bit just to make sure it's selecting the right one. And we will do that for all of them. I'll jump ahead to the next section. You can uh, pause the video or do it afterwards. Um, but I will jump to the next step. So now that we've got our lines done, it should be looking something like this. A bit of a zigzag pattern. Um, we need to create a plane to draw the profile of the wire. So I'm going to create a plane along path, select this line and I'm going to just move this all the way to the left at the bottom and select OK. Now I want my wire to be four millimeters thick so I'll make sure we're selecting the right plane. You can see that any constructed plane kind of fills the field when you zoom in and your uh, origin planes stay small. So just make sure you're on the right plane. So if we have a look there, I can see I'm at the right point and I'm going to draw that to four millimeters. Finish sketch. 
Now's another fun part. We've got to select each one of these little edges when we do the sweep. So I will select sweep. I'll grab my profile there. And then the path will be each one of these. So again, I'll just jump through to the next section. So there we go. We have our profiles all nicely sweeped or swept across there. You've got your 3D body. Now I want to copy this body, but I want to move it down as well. So I'm just going to right click on it and say move copy and then select create copy. So now when I move it across on the different axes, it will create a copy. I did this beforehand and I think the dimensions I came up with were 44 and 50 on the Z axis. Or minus 50. Doesn't really matter which. So I'll go have a look at it. I can see they're interlinked, not quite touching, but they are how I want them. So that's our first little part of the chain link fence. Uh, we're going to now select both these bodies and create a pattern. So we'll go down to pattern and rectangular pattern. The bodies are selected. We need to now select the axis. So we're going to select the X axis over there. And again, I want this distribution to be spacing. And I think I want them 100 mils apart. Or no, it was 88. So double 44, 88. That is in the wrong axis. So this is down to 1. And we'll make this one 88. So I can see there they're nicely linked up. I want quite a few more than 3. If we have to do 10. That would be sort of just less than a meter. So we'll just do a couple. Let's make it 20. And OK. So we can see now we've got a fence. But I just want to add a few finishing touches to that. Like you saw in the beginning, it doesn't it looks a lot better than that. So I don't like this line at the top and the bottom. I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane. I don't actually know if that's the front plane or our construction plane doesn't really matter. I'm going to snap that to the corner and the corner at the bottom there. Let's see if it picks it up. There we go. So I'm going to select the, the offset tool and just drag it out there. Now this outside closed profile we're going to extrude and it's just going to be our cutting piece or our cutting tool. I'll select symmetric. Just drag it out. Uh, it doesn't really matter what distance so long as it's cutting clean through the fence. So now that's more squared up and a bit more how we want it. Next step is to draw a sketch on the top plane. Let me go down here, select center diameter circle and I'll draw my circle out to I think 80 millimeters. Got one over there and then we'll draw another one on the other side. Center diameter circle. This isn't exact, but if there's an edge to snap it to, you can. Otherwise, just kind of guess where it's going. A finished sketch. Now we'll extrude them. So I'm selecting it. This one doesn't want to select for me. There we go. We've got it. I'm going to make this maybe one meter and it's going to be a new body. I suppose we could join it, but I'm just going to make it a new body. 950, yes, one meter is a bit long. So there we've got a fence. So create a sketch on one of these planes. Uh, the front plane, possibly our offset plane rather. Yes, 
So now it's on the front edge of the fence or the front side of the fence. Um, it's actually going to be in the fence a little bit, but it's not a problem. I'm going to draw a construction line. Let's see if we can. I'll just have to project this and this. Now we'll draw a construction line from this body. We've got those two edges. And then we'll draw a line coming down. So I can see that it snapped to center. And you'll see now why I've done these uh, construction lines. I've just turned off construction line. I'm going to go into rectangle and center rectangle and just drag that out. We will adjust this a bit just now once we've put up the sign. So finish sketch and then we'll extrude this out. I'm going to come out this way, make it three millimeters and a new body. So now we've got that little signboard on there we are going to add a decal. So insert decal. We will select the decal and put it on the fence. Just got it oriented in the right direction. That's 90. Let's get a better front view here. And we will center it. Now make it bigger so it fills up the signboard. And there we go. Uh, one thing to note is over here where it says chain faces, if I turn this around, we can see through the signboard, the image is kind of coming through. I deselect that, that'll just be the plain metal board at the back. So there we've just made ourselves a fence with a warning sign, not the most exciting design, but just something different. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down in the comment section if you need to get hold of me my email address is in the description it is fusionfundamentals at gmail.com until next time bye